So it's been brought to my attention um, recently by a friend of mine um, regarding something that's been proven to help individuals with um, past traumas. Um, and when I say past trauma, that, that could be anything um, concerning um, emotional trauma, uh, mental uh, physical, sexual, um, neglect, anything like that. Um, and it's a proven, I guess, way of treating individuals with past traumas regarding whatever it is. And it's theater. Um, it's something that never really dawned on me, but when I was in high school, and a little bit into college, I participated in theater, musical theater for the most part. And um, I knew then that it changed my life because it, it was kind of like a, it felt like a big family. Um, it felt like everyone was close knit, everyone was together and it, it felt like a family. It's probably the best way for me to describe it. Um, and Bessel van der Kolk um, in The Body Keeps the Score, um, chapter 20, I believe, is he actually entitles it. Um, and it's all about theater. But what he discusses the most is how it can help people with trauma. And he's helped thousands of people. Um, and he founded a trauma center, I believe, in Boston. Um, and he was the founder of that. And he actually is a professor of psych psychiatry as well. So his, his um, accolades speak for themselves, to say the least. Um, and he, ta he, he titled uh, chapter 20 in The Body Keeps the Score, Finding Your Voice, Communal Rhythms, and Theater. Um, and he just came out with a recent video on YouTube all about that subject and a friend of mine sent it to me and it was actually a friend a good friend of mine still to this day uh back in 10th grade um in high school uh that got me into theater because uh, i had no clue I, I i played a little bit of hockey in high school and um that was pretty much all the extracurricular activities that i participated in until i tried out for a school play which i didn't even know that my high school at the time did school plays and um, I think because he talks about it in, in the YouTube video, Bessel van der Kolk, he talks about at length um, how trying something new like that changes everything in your brain, in your brain waves, and everything that's going on. Now, you know, don't hold me exactly to this. This is just from my experience and what I and what I experienced um, participating in in musical theater in high school and then a little bit into college and kind of how it helped me with my past traumas, um, mostly all emotional. Um, and I remember, I, I remember the first time trying out for, for the play and I didn't really think that I was actually going to get in. Um, I had a couple friends that were, that were trying out and they knew that they were going to get in and I had no idea. And I was, I was really, I was scared and I mean, I was petrified. And it, once I got over that bump of being really scared to do it, to, to try out, um, I loved it. I, I absolutely loved it. I, I, I was, a, a, they, they called it the chorus part. I was like in the background. Um, and, you know, when, when the play was over with, the first one, I, I was thinking to myself, wow, I really can't wait to do that again. I, I really can't wait to, to, try out i mean i couldn't wait to get back on, out there to, to try out and, and to get a part to, to to land something um and, and unfortunately a lot of my friends that got me into it initially they were a bit older so they were already graduated by the time i i really got into it um and i only got into it the last two years of high school so my junior and senior year um but those two years of high school were the best ever i mean and if if it wasn't for the you know theater 
and that group of people um, and all the teachers and all the you know, choreographers, all the directors, all of them that were involved, they were just phenomenal people. And they really opened my eyes up to a different experiences that I never thought I would ever do. And I remember my senior year, I actually landed a small part in one of the plays. And, you know, it was, it was, it was a supporting, supporting lead role. It wasn't like anything, you know, that was like the top, but it, I had lines. I, I had a song, I had a dance that and I'm thinking to myself, what, what if I forget everything? What am I going to do? So I worked really hard and for some reason, my brain just, something clicked in my head and it just kind of made all that past trauma just disappear. I, I can't really explain it other than that, that it just made it disappear. Um, unfortunately, a lot of that has come back in my, in my life, but at that particular time, and even if I was involved in theater now, I think that it would only help me to press me forward in my own healing journey through my past traumas. Um, and it really gets you to, to, to focus in on yourself and, you know, learn the lines and learn the story that you're telling, learn how to be the best that you can on stage for other people, for the entertainment of others. That's what it's for. It's for the entertainment of others. It's, it, and I guess it was for me for a little, uh, in a sense. Um, but it's just something really interesting to think about. And, I, and I'm interested to see if anyone else uh, that maybe has gone through or is going through or about to go through a healing journey of their own, if they uh, participate in any kind of theater or music in general, uh, whether it be in high school, in, in the college, um, or even in their adult life now. I, I would be curious to um, hear from people to, to see if they had that same experience.